Okay, good morning. Um, let me uh let me preface this by saying uh this is gonna be a uh, sort of kind of rehearsed. I try to do this. Uh, I tried to do this earlier, but uh I had to restart my computer, so my um my audio visual stuff the defaults got got rescrambled and stuff and um my last one sounded like sounded like I was uh, speaking at a distance. You could hardly hear me. So now that that's out of the way. Uh, I was looking on the forums and uh, I noticed who was in here was a this is a pretty good forum thread right here so I thought it'd be a uh, thought it'd be worth uh, commenting on or, or basically answering all the answering the questions yeah that's it so I'm just gonna go right on down the line and just answer everything what do you think is acceptable uh, too broad of a question so I'll start over here. For example, is getting a super fast speed run the measure of a good run? Um, to me, um, I guess if, if nobody died, if nobody wiped, to them it's a good run. Um, I'm more of a slow and steady wins the race kind of person. <clears throat> so, I'm sure for every... Uh, for every super fast speed run that worked, there's a lot of others out there that didn't. Um, I don't, I'm not a risk taker. I'm a low risk, low reward kind of tank. So, plus I, in this game here, it, monsters are just, they're spaced way too far apart. If it just for it to even be worth it, I mean, you know, I gotta go over here to pick up this group, then I gotta run way the hell over here to pick up this group, then I gotta run way down here to pick up this group, then I gotta run way over here to pick up this group. I mean, if I gotta go through all that cross-country running to pick up all the monsters, I'd almost demand that they all die. Anybody who die, if any party member dies, I mean, I'd, I'd almost demand they be kicked. Just <clears throat> all that effort for nothing. So, <clears throat> because I don't like to, because I don't like to have to do something like that, I'm just keeping it, you know, Nice and steady. Just one group at a time. Uh, fewer errors being made. And the few, the very rare time that I have actually gone boss to boss, it's still not worth it. And in my mind, if you're going to pull a man, you should be killing 10 monsters in the time it would take for you to kill one. I mean, if it, if it still drags on way longer than it has to, I'd say... I'd probably say up that number. Uh, you should be killing 10 monsters in the time it should take for you to kill two or two or three, you know, one group. You know, but if, if it takes longer than that, it's not even worth it. And, you know, DPS is not doing something right. Uh, you know, prob possibly due to me because I'm having to kite him around because my health is super low because healer can't handle it or I'm a I'm a shitty tank who should go to lead his account and kill himself, you know, or whatever the reason may be. You know, so again, slow and steady. Who's the race? If a run takes ten to fifteen minutes longer to work with party. You have to make some mistakes and learn is that a bad run? Nope. Um the way I do my dungeon runs is uh I always set aside an hour to do a dungeon. I don't I don't, um, for dungeons, I don't just run in, oh yeah, I'll do a dungeon and I'll get done with that in like 5, 10, 15 minutes. And then I get dropped into Aurum Vale with three sprouts who have never done the dungeon before. So I mean, that, I, that's a bad call on that one. So I always set aside an hour. Um, and it was also, and keep in mind also that it's Dungeon Finder. You're being grouped up with strangers. Of varying skill levels, I mean, so you can't you can't expect everybody you run with to be a to be a role maestro at their class. You just can't. So again, you. Party members who are making serious and makes mistakes learn. 
the key word on that one, learn. I mean, I got to probably like you guys, I I run with my fair share of, shut up, I'll play all I want, or it's my sub, I'll play all I want, or just don't tell me what to do. You know? But uh, as a side note, I think it should also be said that <clears throat> not every person that does this is doing this out of maliciousness or laziness. I mean, because they, for all, I mean, this is especially true in WoW where, you know, players over there were pretty toxic. I mean, the new player trying to learn his classes, all the other players are just browbeating him, insulting him, you know, you know, telling him to delete his account and kill himself and whatnot. And then, you know, and then by the time I get him, I try to give him some advice. He thinks I'm a jerk too, and he just lays into me. So, <clears throat> it is, they're not all trolls, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Throat's getting hoarse. Do you have criteria for good? Yeah, completion. Preferably within an hour. But otherwise, I mean, long as, again, um, I'm more into smoothness than quickness. It's, it's like, it's like, Reading the tortoise in the air is pretty much how I look at it. Yeah. You know, in case you don't know the story of the hare, you know, ter tortoise and hare have a race. The hare just <laughs> takes off, and then oh, he stops to rest every so often. But the tortoise, slow as hell, but he just keeps at it, just keeps on running. You know, and then the hare is too busy resting to all of a sudden realize that the tortoise is crossing the finish line and not him, so of that story. If someone plays a game intermittently and doesn't have all the best rotations or dungeons mechanics memorized for each possible life, they either dumb or dead white? Absolutely not. I'm the kind of person that plays intermittently too. I mean, I think I'll, right now I've only been playing, I think, six months. But before then, I had, I was hot. Uh, I hadn't played in like nine months. I think I was playing Diablo 3. And then before then, I was playing this game, but only for about six months. So I play, I'm, I'm on and off again. I'm on, excuse me. I'm on and off with this game, so. There's something else I want to say to that, but I'm having trouble getting it out. Even if they're constantly casting it open to advice, uh, again, I'm, I mean, if they're at, I mean, if they're open to advice, that you're you're a pretty lucky man if you get that, because like I said, I've had the vast majority of my, I mean, the vast majority of my runs are with people that never talk, which kind of makes it hard for me because I'm the kind of person that I won't talk to you unless you talk to me first. So when you're running with a whole bunch of people that are totally silent, I'm silent, and then, you know, nobody communicates. So, this is a rare thing right here. Remember, even intermittent players will eventually get jobs to max level and community like Kayla. Accumulate lots of possible runs for DM to, cho DM to choose from. They can't randomly get something they don't totally remember. Yeah, and um, as far as uh, learning the fights go, I'm a learn-as-you-go kind of person, personally. Um, the only re I'll, I'll watch videos, and I'll read the wiki, but the only reason I really do that is so I'm not so I'm not getting chewed out by the rest of the group for not doing so. That's all. That. Because um, a lot, I mean, a lot of people are now saying things like, "Well, it's the internet. I mean, you got all this information easily at your fingertips. There's no re there's no excuse for not studying your, not reading, and watching a bit, or reading a wiki." Which you know, not all people work like that. Like I said, some I'm not. The, some of us, I'm not the only one. I prefer to just go in there, go in there, take all the white, you know, die and wipe repeatedly until either a I figure it out, or B, I give up and leave. But, um, you know, 
if I, I mean, if you have to have, if you have to have a college degree to do these fights, then I would have just attended college. I sure as hell wouldn't be playing this game. <clears throat> so, my view on that. on the fence on this if if that person if that person was in my FC group yeah I'm I'm dropping what I'm doing and I'm gonna show them what to do you know just showing them the ropes telling them what I know all that if it's a dungeon finder group however I'm, I'm there to run a dungeon I'm not I'm not a mentor I have no interest in it I'm there to get from point A to point B and get it over with and done but that said, if there's somebody who's actually due, or, or he's never been in the dungeon before, never been in the fight or whatnot, yeah, I'll, if he asks, I'll drop some pointers for him. I'll try to help him out. But as far as holding his hand, um, teaching him from the ground up, I don't have time for that. Uh, I probably would say uh, go on wiki, but I would also preface it by saying I'm not trying to blow you off because... I'm just, I don't have the time to do it because teaching you how to tank is going to, to sit you down and teach you how to tank is going to take a lot of time, but here's a website you can go that can help you out, but I, I'd do something like that. Um, failing that for whatever reason, like if I get to shut up, I'll play how I want type people, then I just drop. I'm not going to sit there, I'm not going to sit there and insult them, I'm not going to tell them to delete his account and kill himself. I mean, it's very counterproductive. Short circuits the learning process. Or another way of looking at it is, uh, I'm not gonna do it to somebody what's been done to me because when I first learned to tank and wow, that's that's what I went through. Didn't know what I was doing. I get told, I get told, don't bother AOEing, it's stupid. And I get told by other people, you should always AOE. So I kind of went my own way players get frustrated started calling me stupid noob learn to play etc so i get off on that this means even if you queued in hope for a quick run again <clears throat> if i'm running a dungeon i never hope for a quick run like i said before i always set aside an hour Cued in, hoping for a quick run before you. Um, I think it should also be said too that uh, I'm speaking from the perspective of a tank, whereas I'm much since I can since I have greater control over the run, you know the pacing. I'm just basically I'm the steering wheel. Um, one guy in the wild forums just said it perfectly. A group should be like a car. <clears throat> the tank is a steering wheel. I think the tank's the steering wheel and the accelerator. I think that's how we put it. The healer is the engine. The healer is the engine and the gas tank. And um, the DPSers are the DPSers are the tires. So it, it's all got to work together. <clears throat> Whereas, and see, my comfort zone is being the tank. You know, being the one doing the driving. Uh, as a DPSer, of the very, very, very few times that I've actually tried to DPS in a dungeon, whereas most of my, most of my, uh, most of the time, or excuse me, most of my uh, DPS levels were gotten by running levs and fates. Very few of it's actually done by running dungeons because one, you have to wait forever for a group of strangers, which by the time you actually the queue pops, you know. You might be in a bad group and it wipes and whatnot. So from from a DPS or perspective, I can kind of understand where they're coming from. You know, come on, tank, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. You know, I waited an hour and a half to get this damn dungeon. Hurry, 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 you know, that kind of thing. So I totally understand where that comes from, which is also one of the reasons why I very seldom run dungeons as a DPS. -er. And I get off that tangent. 
Is it reasonable then to Q for D? Nope. Nope. Um, if you're if you're a tank and to a lesser extent a healer, it's very unreasonable to be in a rush. You already got institutes. So I mean, worst, worst comes to worst, just endure long enough to kill the first boss. If the group, if the dungeon slash group doesn't appeal to you, just drop group, get into another. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be in a rush. Or I should do any of it. Um, DPSers, since they have to wait so damn long, um, I can be more forgivable on this. I mean, it's, it's okay if they, you know, if they like, you know, if they jump the gun a little bit when I'm trying to get aggro. It's okay if they're, you know, if, they, if they're a little too, I can't find the word for it, uh, pushy. I mean, it, a little bit of it I, it's a little bit forgivable but if i'm still losing aggro to them if they're you know if they're if they're just getting frustrated to play with and but again it, i guess on the short version if I'll, if other players are bothering you in a group just drop don't you know don't go all drama queen and i think i'm, I think I'm going off the top off the subject here. I figure this is gonna be a quick read since I've already rehearsed this once already. Does it seem realistic to expect getting a party pull up? Yeah, very unrealistic. Once again, we're we're talking dungeon finder where you're being put in random put with random people. You can't expect them all to be maestros. Is not a party with people who at least know are good at 60 to 80 percent of their uh, I would it would also depend on the content on that if you're running cutting-edge savage raids they need they're gonna need to know at least 90 percent of their 90 percent of their job but when we're since we're talking about dungeon finder here I would probably say just even 60 to 80 percent to me is a little is too high just just that somebody that can at least hit one, two, three on their combo. Um, if it's an AOE, if at least three or more, if it's if if I'm fighting say three, sometimes four monsters again, slow and steady wins the race with me. I don't pull. I only pull one group at a time. So you you don't you could just go get by on just one, two, three. Um, if I'm only pulling like, like three monsters kind of gray area um for the very 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 rare time that i actually go boss to boston yeah you're gonna you're gonna need to learn aoe but it, <clears throat> i don't ask these things and because i'm personally being insulted or having to deal with drum that <clears throat> like i said this is a good post right here like a journalistic question that it is a that it is a rant or anything nice to see nice to see posts like these more often most of the forum threads i see are just complaining in some form i've seen hundreds of stories and threads here and elsewhere with many views expressed and I'm curious to see people's opinions when you're opinion people when they aren't complaining about a particular run yeah it, But anyway, those are my answers. Um, normally, I like to just go on down the line and comment on everybody else's posts. But one, I don't have time to. I don't. I don't think the uh, other players would want to be uh, want to be called out publicly. I mean, I get they're posting on a forum, so they're it's a public forum anyway. But I mean, being called on a video because I'm probably gonna upload this on Twitch, probably upload this on YouTube as well. I mean, heck, I'm not even sure uh, Tiny Thinker would be cool with this. And hell, I still got to hop in the shower yet. But, so I'll just go ahead and uh, cut it off here. 
And if you man, if you manage to stick with me this far, thanks for watching and listening. And until next time, take care.